Ferreira's try and some of the power on top of you a little bit. I just wonder, as in Joe, how much have you learned about the players in the moment of the field the time is turning? Yeah, you definitely learn a fair bit. They learn a fair bit, I think, as well. Um, you know, there's a fair bit of youth out there, particularly coming off the bench, and, and it was a, a very tough um, period of time for them to, to to play out that last 20 or 30 minutes. Until then, um, the game was, as you say, very much in the balance. Um, you know, to, to lead 20 points to three in the first half and, and then to be 2017 at half time, it had swung a bit, but, but we were still in front and uh, really disappointing to, to fall off the edge um, in, that, in that second half. And for players, how tough is it when it just feels like, I'm going to say, it's going to get you part of the crowd and you guys are talking about hearts, it's a pretty powerful stuff. Yeah, obviously it was quite difficult out there in that period and I guess for us I'm just really looking, looking to like, change momentum and uh, obviously that didn't happen and um, they just would, our first errors would uh, That, that didn't go completely smoothly uh, either early on. Um, we, we wore a few uh, losses, but they, they picked things up pretty quickly. I think there was, um, certainly was a lot older group. We had mature players like Paul O'Connell, um, Roy Best, uh, Ken Healy, Sean O'Brien, uh, Johnny Sexton, those sort of guys. And while we've got a, a smattering here, we've got a lot of young guys. I think um, we've had 16 debutants and it's going to take a little bit of time to build uh, a strength of depth that allows us, when we do make substitutions or when we are a few players short, that we can still, still sustain a really competitive effort. Just finally, obviously, the news this week, the news is going to go on the best end We're disappointed with the with the second half today, but we probably put three pretty reasonable halves together, and, and um, as I said, fell off a, a bit of a cliff in that in that second half today. So, you know, the, uh, getting the time with the players and getting the opportunity for them to build um, as a as a squad it is always really positive when you're away on tour. So, um, yeah, we, we we did enjoy it. Obviously, we travelled through Chile on the way home. Um, by Santiago, so um, yeah, maybe that's something that could happen. Probably um, the administrators make those decisions, and we just go where we're told and try to put a decent performance together. Thank you. solid set pieces um, and I thought some of the running lines and timing and, and breakdown work was really, really positive. I, I, I think the, the biggest contrast for me was was that we just really struggled to win collisions in the, in the second half, um, either side of the ball really, but particularly defensively and once they had us going backwards it was very hard to, to stop them, um, either coming through the middle or, or as we um, tended to, to condense our defensive line, they, they tended to, to stress us on the, on the edge. There was a couple of times where I thought we got the ball back and then they got it back off us and we were very much uh, disorganised and, and that was that was frustrating as well because um, you know, we, we actually gave ourselves half a chance and then gave them a, you know, gave them the ball back and, and ended up chasing them around. Um, no, we, we didn't have a hard sort of plan 
in the first half. Uh, it was very, very hot out there, so we knew that there would be a, a bit of attrition and we would likely use the bench a bit earlier. Um, so we, we decided to go around that 30, 35 minute, 35 minute mark. Um, and, and unfortunately, it, it didn't just coincide with those replacements. Um, part of that is, is, is not to do with those replacements, but more to do with how uh, passive we started to become and, and got put on the back foot. We made a couple of uh, errors, I think a kick error that allowed them to come into our 22, and then we had to the, uh, defend from there, which made it very, very tough. We gave up a penalty then, and, and, and they just, uh, I suppose, doubled down on the pressure they were putting on us. Joe, um, I don't believe you've experienced a defeat like this in the Leinster and the artist. How do you respond and how do you bring this team back together against a wounded all -Hacks? Yeah, it's, it's a good question, but uh, I think that's one of the one of maybe one of the advantages of being quite pragmatic about it. Getting the stuff that we did well, particularly in that first 30 minutes, looking to, to build a bit of confidence on that, and then making sure that we uh, steal ourselves for what's coming um, with with some of the things that we didn't do well in that in that last certainly that last 50. And I, I think the last 10 minutes. Um, we were over chasing the game with a, a young group um, and, and it, there's always the, the risk that the score will blow out but at 41-27 um, we're only one score away from potentially picking up a couple of bonus points at worst and, and maybe chasing another chance at the game but um, you know, I, think, I think we just overreached at that back end and, and it, it didn't look great in that last Try to hit 
in the ground running and, uh, and we, we prepare for, for the Blitz Lake Cup and, and we'll say